Is this poof still open? Mm-hmm. Okay. We're on safety break. Oh, okay. No problem. Yeah, your e-bike's are gonna go fast. Oh, my, my nice gloves. Ooh, nice and shiny and white. Ooh. Okay, I'll do some ASMR. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Everybody else, and everybody, please like, share, comment. Let me know how you like the ride. Also, consider joining membership. Hello everyone, welcome back. Another episode here. Rad Rover ride along. I got new gloves, look how bright and shiny they are. Ooh, nice and clean. They're not stained from uh, all that sweat I do. Let's take the shortcut here. So, oh, something in the middle of the road. I don't know what it is, I'll leave it there. <laughs> I don't have time to do anything here, so. So, uh, I just, uh, just had a wonderful weekend at uh, Galveston Island at uh, Stewart Beach. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. Took the Rad Mini on there. Just put it right in the back of the uh, of the uh, Hyundai uh, Tucson. And uh, yeah, and had a wonderful day. It was pretty fun. Pretty dry, but whoa, a lot of <laughs> a lot of grass, and I think I pedal scraped uh, an ant mound. Jeez, my uh, grass. Oh, oh, oh. High grass. Jeez, they're gonna cut this. Oh. Yeah, grass grows pretty fast. Growing pretty fast. All right, I think I'm able to uh, cross right here. And yes, I am. All right. Woo. So today, so today, I'm uh, I'm headed over to. The, uh, the small pool, the first pool that this community ever had. And uh, it's gonna be a short trip because uh, it's so hot, man. I gotta, I gotta take a dip in the pool. I'm already down one bar. I'm just trying to cycle through my battery. So yeah, I'm headed to uh, I'm headed to I'm headed down to uh, the first pool. So this may not be a long of a ride, but I'll try to go through the gravel trail before I hit the small pool, and then head on back. Just want to get a my daily e-bike ride. I don't do it daily, but. definitely make a daily video and by the way if you're new to the channel please subscribe everybody else and everybody please like share comment let me know how you like the ride give me your thoughts opinions also consider joining membership I have a little join button or a join it's not a button, it's just a join. It says join and it's blue. Anyways, you get early access. It's all ad free. Early access. 
maybe some exclusive content. I might do uh, tutorials on how to uh, how to set up your audio. A lot of people uh, compliment my videos for uh, having no wind noise and having great sound. So I think that helps in making the video. You know, having uh, that uh, stereo sound so you can hear your environment or at least get an idea of the environment. It's kind of different when you have your mic in your helmet and uh, you're just talking into the mic. You got nothing going on, and it sounds like you're talking into a mic in a, hel in a helmet. You know, has that weird sound to it. It's almost like you're, you're listening to someone who's talking through a helmet, almost, but not quite. Anyway, so I just uh, I'm just starting to make that video of that Galveston. By the time you watch this video, it should already be out. I had a great time. I had a great time. And man, I am so glad I wore all my gear. I'm out every day in the sun, but you know, some people like that tan. I don't mind getting tan, but I know if you do it all the time, you're just gonna get, uh, well, you're gonna get a tan, that's for sure, but I think that's uh, just uh, overworks your uh, skin. Eventually, I think eventually you'll get some, not skin disorder, but you'll, you'll start having issues with your skin. Hyperpigmentation, my wife calls it hyperpigmentation. See, where am I gonna go? Oh, that's oh they, oh, they cut it a little bit. Okay, that's that's nice. Okay, I'll do some ASMR. be hearing some you might also be hearing some some air, airplanes going over that ends the ASMR portion of this video. You might have heard something. It's hard sometimes. The mic doesn't pick up everything, even though I try to try to tune that mic up a little for you to hear. Okay. Yeah, so I'm headed to the small pool. It's the first pool this community ever built. Really small. I guess back in the day where uh, where um, 
they only had about a thousand to three thousand people that lived here. I guess it was the right size for the community at the time. But now they got like four pools and two splash pads, playground pads. Four pools, yeah, one, two, three, four. Yeah, four pools, two, two splash pads, playground splash pads, and one dog park. So, yeah. And of course, they, that huge sports park, sports complex that I go to. Oh, my, my nice gloves, ooh, nice and shiny and white, ooh. Oh. I ordered these last year, I have to order another one. I like these. These are actually batting gloves. You can see that they have a uh, padding around the uh, where the grips are, not on the actual palm. But I like it because it's uh, white and it's very breathable and stretches. You can you kind of you can see my my hand, you know. And that's, that's comfortable, especially during the summer. Man, I need that breathability. I'm not interested in keeping my hands warm. I'm just interested in getting that sun to, to, uh, to bounce off the white, give me less radiation on my hands. I still get a tan on my hands. Okay, levee is a little low. I might, I might cross into the levee, go underneath the bridge. Maybe, maybe. On the way back, I might I might do that. There's a small chance it might rain, so that's another reason why I'm <laughs> I'm riding out today. Hopefully it won't. There's a small chance it will. All right. There we go. I'm gonna take the. Uh, I'm gonna take the uh, granite trail here towards the back and then loop around and head to the small pool. That's the plan anyway. So yeah, I, I really enjoyed that Galveston uh, Galveston uh, Island Stewart Beach ride. Oh, all these, all the dandelion seeds and floating flowers and everything are, I see a lot of that. But another reason why I wear a buff. You see the, the little dandelion seeds, you know what I'm talking about? They're blowing all over the place. I don't think it's from dandelions. I think it's from something else. But you're like riding along, you're talking. You get one up your nose, get one in your mouth. Almost, I wouldn't say you would choke, but you would definitely uh, cough a little bit having that in your mouth. So yeah, enjoy the wonderful day at Stewart Beach on Galveston Island. Rode the seawall a little bit. Rode on the on, on seawall on the road itself. You know what I've noticed? Like if you're in traffic, if you're in traffic. Like, there's a lot of e-bikers who ride in, in, in traffic. It makes it look like they're going so fast and everything. Well, the cars are only going like maybe 15 to 20 miles an hour, maybe 30. Of course, it makes your e-bike look like it's going so fast on video. So my Rad Mini was able to surpass those cars, even, even when they were driving, it kept up with the flow and passed a little bit, especially in the congested areas. But on the open road, your e-bike doesn't, you know, don't fool yourself. You're, you're not going to be passing any cars on an open road. It just kind of looks that way because, you know, you got, you're in traffic and in, in, in congested traffic. Yeah, your e-bike's going to go fast. It makes it look like you're the fastest thing on earth. very hot humid of course but we haven't had any rain 
in a week and it's really dried up. Feels a little dry, but still humid. I got the Flexi Freeze vest on. Back home, back home, sweet home. Oh, it's good to be back home. So after the uh, after the beach, we went to uh, Red Lobster. We had a great time. It was wonderful. Just gotta make sure anybody's out there. Take a wide turn. You never know. Someone might be coming. Looks like they sprayed. They sprayed here along the edge to kill off some of the grass. So anyways, it was, uh, I went to uh, Red Lobster after Stewart Beach and man, I had a great time, wonderful time. You never know, people might be coming out this way with their headphones, you know. All right, come back through here. I guess I can do a full circle. I've never done a full circle. If I ever wanted to do a like a range test and be on flat ground and just go in a circle, this road here literally goes into a, a circle. And it's pretty flat here. I've never gone this way, I might as well might as well give it a try. It's great for circuit riding. If you're into circuit riding, man, you can just circle around this. It's a it's an oval. It's almost like a track. So back to Red Lobster. It was a great Red Lobster dinner for me because my wife paid. I was like surprised she paid. I was like, what? I was expecting to pay, but hey, she must have been feeling good. Because man, I got treated special that day. I put a lot of effort in making that day just right, you know? Wife almost lost it. You know, my wife always has some kind of like freak out moment and it kind of ruins the whole day. But she had a freak out moment towards the end because she was like, trying to you know do stuff and the helicopter there's a helicopter over there at the at Galveston and uh, Stewart Beach they give you a ride the helicopter would come back and forth and she was you couldn't hear anybody she she's like man she cursed at the helicopter wow she was freaking out for a little bit so yeah she, she was she was cursing the helicopter anyways she, she she lost it for a moment and regained her posure so I was like yo good 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 not ruin the day because I put a lot of effort into making that day wonderful and uh, I also uh, I also brought the uh, red mini and the red mini helped out a lot because she had a lot of stuff to carry so I put the uh, the bags I, I put the bags right here on the handles where the grips are and I rode to our little uh, umbrella and two seat area on the beach so she didn't have to carry all that stuff I mean, she would have been hating it so i did all that all they had to do was just walk to the car and walk to uh walk to the umbrella and the two seats where we had our spot that's all she had to do so it wasn't a big deal so it wasn't a big deal at all I'm sure she had a great time. She enjoyed it. I had a great time because I brought my ride mini and got to do something other than sit around and babysit everybody. You know, I did spend some time with the family, but you know, I gotta have some me time, you know. Planning all this stuff, making sure everything goes smooth, you know, and all that. It takes effort. A lot of people don't realize that. They just think they just get up and go and voila, you're there. Okay, here's where I turn left. So if I keep going, it'll take me right back to that could decompose granite trail. So this is where I turn left. I'm already there. I am there already. I don't know how much time it has gone by. It's gonna be a relatively short video, nothing amazing. I'm only going here because I know the other place is closed. The uh, fitness center and the lake pool is closed. So uh, 
you know, no point in going there. I got to dip in the water. Got to dip in the water. Because, uh, yeah, it's, it's that hot. It, it is that hot. It's like 90-something. Yeah, there's already people already there. Not too many. Hopefully no kids. The resort pool, not the resort, the bucket pool should be open. So hopefully no one's over here. Only a few people, good. Is this pool still open? Mm -hmm. Okay. We're on safety break. Oh, okay, no problem. 